As the 2023 general elections draw closer, the governorship candidate of the Accord Party, Dumo Lulu Briggs, has advised the River State Governor, Nisham Wiki, not to overheat the polity in the state. Dumo expressed this while reacting to the Executive Order 21 and 22, banning political parties from the use of buildings in residential areas as campaign offices without approval. He described it as the height of irresponsibility on the side of Governor Wiki and the PDP. You know, you're a government, I mean, you should not want to overheat the policy. You shouldn't want that. But you take actions to prevent people from campaigning. And we, I've always wondered, why are you afraid of this contest? You are so massive. You are PDP. You've been in government since 1999. You say the other parties don't have structures. Yet those who don't have structures are frightening you so very much that you want to even close their campaign offices, you know. Well, you know, this is um, the height of um, you know, irresponsibility by a political party, the PDP, and uh, by the special grace of God. As, they, as, as you can see, every step that they take, you know, we try to ensure that we, are, we remain very peaceful in River State. But that's the whole idea. The governorship uh, election, pre-election matter filed by PDP against our candidate, um, which was filed later, the processes are also in, but I, there were issues of service of some processes by INEC Council. They were regularized today, but the plaintiff still requires their time for them to respond. That will be about the only outstanding issue. So when we are back by God's grace next week on 25th, we are going to take the substantive case in the governorship election filed by PDP against our candidate's uh, nomination, which has nothing to do with his qualification. In fact, it's... Uh, all about some delegates that voted at the consensus primary where our candidate emerged. Principal complaint in the matter is that the Accord Party held the Congress's primaries for the nomination of those candidates outside the various constituencies. Under the law, we believe that that renders it invalid. INEC knew about it. INEC published a report where they made it clear that they were aware that these primaries held outside the constituencies. So the PDP's case is that INEC has no right to then include the names of candidates who did not comply, whose political party did not comply with the requirement of the law. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.